Doc, Physics 101, Light and Visual Phenomena, and a student request to look at this problem, which has two ways, and we have some questions. The question you're going to be asked here is, what is the wavelength of the lower wave if we're given the wavelength of the top one? And then, what about frequencies? If we're given the frequency of the top one, what's the frequency of the bottom one? Now the hint here says, translate this problem into one that someone in your family can do who did not go to college. For example, you have three figurines on the mantelpiece and you know the size of each one, the horizontal length of each of those three. They're the same. You then want to replace these with four figurines, so you go to the store to buy four smaller ones, and what size should you be looking for? So here you have the three figurines. One starts here, ends there. It's one wavelength. There's two, and there's three. And you know the distance of the wavelength for wave A. Then you want to go to the store and buy four, so you have one, two, three, four in the same space. Well, if we go to a website here, www.casacoolin.com, they have mail pieces. And I picked the picture from there. Here it is. That's very close to what we're asking and my analogy. So, hey, mom. We got these three decorations, candle and something, candle and something, candle and something. So here you know the distance from the one edge here to where the next one begins. There's one wavelength, here is the next wavelength, and there's the third wavelength, and we'll pretend we're cutting off our mantle like right there, and you see four of these things here. We have a space, and then you have the stocking hanging down here. Then you have a space and another sock. Space, another sock, space, another sock. So this is very really close. So we're, we know the distance from here to like where the next one begins for the three, for the triple. And mom has to go out and figure out how to place these in the same uh, space. So pause the video, see if you can figure that out. No math, just figure out the procedure. What you would do with no specific numbers, just a general idea, and then come back and I'll give you the answer. Okay, we're back. So what mom would do, mom would say, well I know the distance of one of these setups up here, so I have one, two, three. So mom can figure out how long the mantelpiece is. And then mom can divide by four and say, well I need to put four here, so each one has to take up one-fourth. So that's the idea see, to get the length of the mantle from the, the wavelength up here, which is uh, the larger wavelength, right? one, two, which is three of them, and then you divide by four to get the other wavelength. So let's look at some of the math now where we put in uh, some numbers, and here you can say that three of the A wavelengths, three of the uh, figurines, the bigger ones, has to fit the entire mantelpiece, so this is the entire mantle length, and that has to be equal to four of the smaller ones. Or you could say, well, we don't really need to do that step. We would have just did what mom would have probably done is just triple, you know, the size of the of the bigger ones to get the entire mantelpiece three times the wavelength, and then divide by four. Same thing. So that's how you would do any of the cases, you know, with any kind of numbers. And you can generalize this if you don't have three and four, you have other numbers, it's the same principle. So I want to set you up to do the most general case, and then you can plug the numbers in. Uh, notice that when you want to do the frequency, we have this relationship that says the product of the wavelength with the frequency gives you the speed. Now, when you double the wavelength, the frequency halves. When you have the wavelength, the frequency doubles. So here, since you went to a new wavelength that had three-fourths, the frequency has to do the opposite. So it's four-thirds. And you can see here that this frequency is greater this is wiggling more times than this. So this you have three wiggles and here you have four wiggles. 
one small uh, bit of advice for a different kind of problem when light goes from one medium to another then the velocity changes the frequency stays the same so then whatever happens to the velocity if the velocity should have than the wavelength has. But in the case where all things are being equal, you're in the same environment, like the mantelpiece, hey, we're in the same environment, uh, the wave is in the same medium, then it's the velocity that's a constant, that's fixed, and then when you do something to the wavelength, you have to do the opposite to the frequency. Triple the wavelength, one-third on the frequency. So, that's a little review here for you. I hope you enjoyed it.